Hobbs Bryant went on a profanity-laced tirade in the Cowboys locker room Sunday night in response to the video that allegedly showed him making derogatory remarks about Seattle's Ricardo Lockett, who had been knocked unconscious. Dez denying the allegation, saying he would never do such a thing. Stephen A. I won't ever, 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 ever wish bad on, bad on a player that's been knocked down. Come on, man. Stop with the Not once I said, hey, that's what you get. I got on one knee and prayed for that man. Man, on my daughter's soul, man. I would never in my life do that to anybody. Man, I, I could have been talking about something completely, completely else. I'm too busy trying to break, break it up, trying to get our players back. I'm telling Richard and I'm telling Earl, hey, y'all get y'all players back. Come on, man. I was more talking to the officials than anybody. Sorry, Stephen A., I got a little excited about that. Dez denying his allegations. Obviously, we just heard the sound. What's your reaction? My honest reaction? Mm -hmm. Molly, Skip, I usually don't like to do this. I think the media should be ashamed of itself. Whoever tweeted out that video, you knew good and damn well what you were implying. You were implying that while Ricardo Lockett was on the turf, motionless, potentially paralyzed for all we know, that Des Bryant, whatever you read from his lips, whatever you said, I don't care what he said. You know, when, when somebody said well, that's what you get or whatever the case, unless you know definitively that he is talking about Ricardo Lockett to create a stir where there could be a question about a football player literally mocking a guy on the field, laying motionless for minutes. We don't even know if he were paralyzed or not. To attach that to Des Bryant and put him in a position where he has to go out there and defend himself off of that, I just think, I, I just, it, you know, this industry is getting to a point where it could be disgusting sometimes. If, we, if we're going to be real honest about it. Bruce Irvin, for the Seattle Seahawks, tweeted that Dez was yelling at the officials the whole time. And we get all of that. But all I'm saying is this. Even without knowing all the details, I've got... Here's what I mean by when I'm going off about the media right now, and I almost never do this. But I got to be absolute 100% proof positive that that's what you said, and that's exactly who you were talking about in order to just put that light out there, to shine that light on another player. These guys go out there, we report on them, we ain't playing the NFL. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about you if you're playing like garbage, just like I'm gonna talk about you if you're great. But if there's something along this line where you, uh, listen, Ricardo Locke is in the hospital in Dallas. He hasn't gotten home yet. His family's with him. I got a text from one of his friends this morning said Marshawn Lynch has been by his side. He refused to leave with the team. He's been with them all night long. You got people worried about this brother and what's going to happen to him. And to sit there and to put Des Bryant in a situation where he is literally being accused of mocking this guy or saying whatever, that's what you get or whatever the case may be. And they're saying that he meant that towards Ricardo Lockett. And then you got reports talking about how, well, you know what he meant it because of some hit that Seattle, blindside hit that Seattle did, you know, three years earlier. Or whatever. It's like, what, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. what, are, what are we doing? I, I mean, look, I don't know exactly what Des said. I didn't read his lips, okay? And, and yeah, I'm not there per se. But neither are those reporters who tweeted about it and threw out that video to imply that this is what he meant. And the fact that just based on conjecture, you got an NFL player literally being accused of mocking a guy that's sitting on a turf motionless and potentially paralyzed, at least at that moment in time, because that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I just think it's I just I just think it's sad. I fair. think it's sad, and this, I don't think it's right. I don't think, I don't think Des Ryan did that. I don't think he would do that. I don't think Des Ryan would do that. But whether he did or not, the point is, unless you are definitively and absolutely sure, that is not something you should be speculating about. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I hear what you're saying. I have no idea what's going down here for sure. Do I believe that sentiment could ever be in Des Bryant's heart? I do not. He's a football player. He loves this game, and, and I think he cherishes the, 
the ability to play this game because he's had to miss much of this game for periods of time. And I think he's come to love the, the great opportunity that God gave him just to get out there and play. So does, would he wish that? No. Okay, but now let's get back to what we see on the video. It sure looks to me like he is mouthing those words. If I, if I can lip read, it looks like those words are coming out of his mouth. And he did acknowledge, did Des, as he refuted what the media was quote unquote accusing him of. He said, I could have been talking about something completely dot, dot, dot else, like something complete. So, so he acknowledged he could have said those words. That's what he gets. But it could have been aimed at somebody else because there was a whole lot of back, back and forth trash talk going on because there is lingering bad blood between these teams. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure some of the Seattle players were not happy with this Heath kid who laid out Lockett on, on, as a Cowboy special teamers, even though I thought it was a brutal but a legal hit. It did draw a flag. That's fine with me. It's almost like just on principle it deserved a flag, not by the letter of the law. This is a violent game that's going on out there. We know this, and the most dangerous time is on punt returns. No longer kickoff returns. They've sort of legalized some of the, you know, they've, they've sort of taken some of the, the brutality out of kickoff returns. But on punt returns, bad stuff can go down. And it did, and God bless him. I hope he's okay. It sounded like he was going to be okay, that he just wound up with a concussion. Yeah. But I don't know if Dez got caught up in the moment de defending his teammate, and they're going back and forth. I don't know. The comment could have been aimed at somebody else. That's what he gets, meaning Agreed. who knows? Mm -hmm. That's what Richard Sherman gets, or Earl Thomas gets, or who knows who he's he's we know Des he plays with such emotion such passion such rage to win his emotions could spill over and it was directed at somebody else is as he's trying to defend his teammate who delivered the blow so I don't know what it was but I don't believe that's in Des Bryant's heart I just don't but but it looks bad on well, the surface it, because it looks like he said that but let's at also that moment. But let's also understand why it looks bad skip Bayless these aren't bloggers that just tweeted out something or saw something on their television screen, you know, clipped it with their cam with their camera phone and then went from there and it's on it's on it's on Twitter or something like that. These are journalists who were at the game who tweeted it out. According to the reports, anyway, I'm saying that you have a responsibility. But they didn't make it up. Yeah, but, but it's not a matter of making it up. You have a responsibility to at least go down there and ask this man the question before Absolutely. you before, have context before, 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 and have context before you just tweet it out for the world. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it gains momentum to the point where Des Bryant gets back in the locker room and he's hearing all of this stuff. Yeah, the guy already who been. tweeted out wasn't at the game. He, I'm pretty sure he's from Houston, right? I don't know. Fox 26 in Houston. I didn't. I didn't know. I think it was, he posted it I, just I, off. He's just okay. using off the. He right. took the footage off the broadcast. Right. Right. Okay. All okay, right. So, so they're reacting, the, the reporters at the game are reacting to what they saw. Anybody could have seen it. Anybody could have pulled it we off. We all saw it. I saw it on yeah. TV. Okay. I saw it on TV. But what I'm saying to you is that it's unfair that he walks into a locker room and rather than just ask him the question, he has to fight off accusations. That's entirely different. Asking somebody what went on at that particular moment, what were you saying, et cetera, et cetera, is entirely different than somebody walking into their locker room, being in front of okay. the media, and having to fight off accusations. You and I both know that half the battle, most of the time, half the battle is fighting off one's interpretation than fighting off facts. Yep. Okay. And when you have to walk but, up in there and you're confronted by those, those, those accusations that somebody would literally sit up there and say, you know what, that's what you were doing. It looks like that's what you were doing. That, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad yeah, is all I'm saying. The, the media is not out of bounds to ask that question. I'm not saying they're out of bounds to ask the question. I'm saying they're out of bounds to sit there and paint a picture as if he is guilty of something that he has to refute. We didn't know. Okay, but we didn't know what he was saying. And Bruce Irvin, Bruce Irvin had to go out there in the tweet and basically say, again, you know, he wasn't talking to us. He was talking to the officials. Okay. I'm saying asking the question and being blind and just wanting to know is entirely different than him fending off an interpretation of that magnitude. This is not a fight. This is not a sideline rant by Harvey, that by Greg Hardy. This is not something like that. This is a player that was on the field that literally looked 
as if he were paralyzed. And then you okay, juxtapose that to okay. Des Bryant saying, that's what you get. That's very, very incendiary. Okay, but he uttered what surely appear to be those words moments after he's prone on the turf. Right. Okay, so it's fair to ask. But guys, what, were, what talking, what, but what, guys what, were talking and guys were arguing. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm not saying the question shouldn't have been asked. I'm saying he wasn't just being asked a question. He was fending off accusations. Well, you know what would have been nice? If Des had just said, hey, I, I know that looked bad, but I actually, I was talking About, to Bennett yeah. or whoever it was. I got right? that. I got okay. that. And that's fair. But at the same time, a lot of times we anticipate and expect athletes to communicate in manners that we would when they they're, 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 especially, oh, they're just not mm -hmm. capable at it, particularly when you're in the heat of the moment yeah. all i'm trying to say is that it's not about even the accusations that he had to fend off it's about the fact that it's those specific accusations if it's something far more innocuous that's different but when you sit up there and you have to fend off accusations that you literally were saying that's what you get about a guy that could have been paralyzed sure. on the field it's just something that to some small degree at least is a bit inhumane when you don't take into consideration okay. the kind of way that can sell somebody his name. In the history of this very violent sport, mm -hmm. those kinds of lines have been uttered many times about a guy who's prone on the turf by the the opposing team. Well, I've many seen times. it. I've seen it. Pro, I've seen it said by a guy prone on the turf by a fan base. Not a not uh, not, not. I, I not, know not, players who have said things. Okay. All right. It's just what it's, it's now, the I'm, nature I'm of saying, a, I'm saying not not to that degree, not in a situation okay. like that. Yeah, but this is a gladiator's game. Okay. Much yeah. as they, they love right. each other and care about each other. from. Well, let me tell you something. He's not sitting up there and, 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 and being as adamant and vehement in his denial yep. if he doesn't care. The fact I agree is with that. that you, I care, agree. you care because you know that there are certain things that are beyond the pale that are just too low to go. I agree. Yep. And, and, unless you are sure, you got no mm -hmm. business putting something somebody in a position where they have to defend themselves against something that that's low. Do you know how low you got to be to watch a guy on the field looking as if he's paralyzed and sitting there saying tough, that's what you get? You have any idea how that makes somebody look? I, I can't, I, I, to me, there's just lines that should not be crossed by us. And I think in this particular case it was. To use RG3's term, maybe a victim of clickbait? We don't know. It was a tough day for Gang Green on Sunday. They lose their starting quarterback, and the defense gets exposed by Derek Carr in the Raiders. So should the Jets be worried? We'll discuss that next. You're not getting it. I'm going to give it to you free, okay? A Super Bowl! Who? Oh, 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 oh! America's eyes on me right now. I believe what? that. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> that makes my point.